what you're going to see in this week's video is the retail nomad bouncing around Venice canals in northern Italy visiting Grotini retail environments and Venice in the streets and the nooks and crannies roll on in here through the Venice canals with us come on inside the retail nomad traveling the globe sharing what the retail environment is like hidden corners of the world check out these window displays of these awesome looking cannolis these sweets and then you go up top and you got some booze some wine and some grappa here's one of many women's boutique clothing shop all right we're walking the streets of venice and we found an awesome hat shop they've got the borsalinos they've got the capellos the name here nifema check it out and check out the coolest little shops very theme oriented masks uh, boutiques dresses headdresses all kinds of masks you think of a bunch of eyes wide shot with tom cruise rizzo you follow me dude little uh bread and sweet store you got over here on the canals of venice you never told me pretty sweet Here's the daily fruit stand. It's been put up for the three days I've been here. Awesome, love it, healthy. One thing I love about Europe is they have all these natural, organic, little herb stores. And if you look up top here, they call them the Herboristeria, which is all natural solutions, ointments, creams. It's basically a medicine store, all natural. So non-pharmaceutical. So they're all over the place, I love them. As you can see, Italian glasses are not cheap. Check out the streets of Venice. There's every kind of souvenir shop, candy shop, coffee shop, uh, the herb shop back there. And it's actually pretty slow today. It is chilly out here. So we stopped in here to Grotini. As you can see behind us, they've got some amazing case study examples. Valentino, Steve Madden, and Delcy. We met here this week with Francesco. So roll on inside here with us, check it out. It's awesome. We'll see the folks at Euroshop in Germany in February. And here we are, we poked our head into the Grotini Lab, little exhibit prototype store. If you look behind me, they tie in all the data, the analytics, the digital, the, uh, the, all the customer uh, data that uh, we do not see typically. And they actually increase sales uh, revenue for the brand, the retailer. And here we're in the Grotini showroom area. As you may be familiar with some of these labels behind me, as uh, little case study examples. Uh, Samsung, uh, they cover the Italian, I believe the European region, uh, Valentino. How cool is it? They design and manufacture for some of the same international banners Flexecution installed. Now how cool is this? It fixture manufacture, store design group, also sponsors, Ducati Racing. As we're walking on the warehouse floor, we caught them out back loading up some kiosks, displays, floor units for Wintrig, which is going to be like a T Mobile or ATT in the US. It's one of the larger uh, cell phone providers here in the European market of Italy. Grotini.com. Ciao. Meeting with Francesco here today, walking through. If you look at the machinery back here behind us, brand uh, looking like new CNC machinery over here. Give you a quick look and snip it inside the uh, factory floor. Grotini, where they manufacture everything from woods to metals. And if you look at this huge tower back here behind us, that's where they collect all the wood cuttings and shavings and particles. It goes into there, they burn it, and it converts into energy. Talk about sustainability, Grotini.com. I gotta say, I've seen these type of machines at the airport, but I've never seen one on a warehouse floor. That's badass. Check it out, Grotini.com. And here I am in a Tim cell phone electronics store in Venice, right next to the canals. When you fly into Italy, get your SIM cards at Tam. Coincidentally, this is where Grotini, they manufactured the kiosks and displays that you're seeing here in the background. And here I am in front of a brand by the name of Toon, T-H-U-N. This reminds me kind of like a Hallmark store without cards. Uh, a lot of accessories, home goods, decorations, candles, and things of this nature. But I stopped here. Uh, I was going to try to peek my head in, and unfortunately, uh, they are closed as I caught them during the siesta hour. 
but uh, they got some nice looking millwork in there that Grotini has manufactured and designed as well. Longtime client for Grotini. What you've seen here this week is a quick thumbnail sketch of what Venice Canal retail looks like. Just a few selected shops as well as Grotini, Puerto Reconati. All right, hope you enjoyed Northern Italy. Stop in, check it out, you get a chance. Retail Nomad, Venice. Stay tuned to the Retail Nomad, as each week we'll be profiling different types of shopping experiences around the world. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Ciao.